Take care, too. This is Heather. Back here at Big Tent in Denver, and I'm standing next to the president of NARAL Pro Choice America, Nancy Keenan. We're very glad to have you with Great us. Great to be here. So we've been, Care2, of course, has done a ton of work with NARAL over the years. Uh, and in fact, I'm sure we have some actions that folks can take on the site right now. You just sat on a panel to talk right. about Prop 48. Now, that's right. a ballot initiative uh, that is going to be voted on by the voters here in Colorado in November. Can you tell us a little bit about what that would do? Yeah, it's a ballot initiative, of course, um, that is trying to def uh, define uh, a when life begins, mm -hmm. um, and uh, which in essence uh, would not only outlaw abortion, uh, would outlaw birth control uh, and stem cell research. And it is a very dangerous ballot initiative here in Colorado. Uh, we know that if it succeeds here, mm -hmm. it just becomes replicated across the country. So, uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do here in Colorado to defeat it. And um, it, uh, it's, it's one of those things that, again, uh, we were able to keep it off the ballot in Montana, but we know that if they're successful here, their ultimate goal is to overturn Roe versus Wade. So this is one of those strategies uh, where they have a ballot initiative and with the goal of going to the Supreme Court to overturn Roe versus Wade. That's that's a strategy. Sure. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, we sort of have the electoral stuff going on. I want to come back to that. But I think it was about a week ago that uh, the uh, that Health and Human Services Department came right. down with a regulation. Yeah. We've th There's been a lot of um, activity around Care 2 on this uh, that uh, is effectively outlaws, what, 40 percent of contraception? Talk a little bit about that because yeah. that, it strikes me that the threat Implicit in that is just extraordinary. Yeah. Well, this is this is another Bush tactic. He, you know, he's on the way out the door, and now trying to expand the definition. Um, it's very vaguely written, and there's the danger in it, uh, because it could possibly out outlaw some forms of birth control. Um, it obviously is a tactic that, one, as I said, on their way out the door, they're trying to, again, restrict women's reproductive rights. Um, it's a danger, and it, it's by rule, so Congress and nobody has to, to vote on it, but it's one of those other uh, policies that'll be in place that could affect our everyday lives uh, as women in our reproductive area. So, um, you know, we're mobilizing folks. Folks have got to call HHS, say this is absolutely too vague and uh, could be interpreted in so many ways, but um, it, you know, it's trouble, and um, we just got to make sure that that doesn't get on the books. And if it does, that goes into the elections. How do you elect people uh, that will overturn regulations like this and make sure that women's choices are, are protected? And that really touches on, we're just sort of going back to the elections a little bit now. Mm -hmm. It sort of touches on, I think, where you see the, the right wing really broadening their target, right? They've, mm -hmm. they've tried to frame this around abortion, but this is really about reproductive health rights overall. That's this is right. about access to uh, basic information That's about right. your health care. Talk to me a little bit about how this is going to, you see this playing out in this election and the yep. message that NARAL and other pro-choice and reproductive health rights organizations are talking mm -hmm. about this. Well, there's a couple things. First, you know, they come at this, the uh, the anti-choice movement has come at this in many ways. They come at it through a ballot initiative like we see in Colorado and South Dakota, mm -hmm. where they're just, you know, attacking abortion care right up front. We see it then in legislature, 550 laws passed uh, that have attacked women's reproductive rights, and they are attacking it through the courts. And so when you have a president like Bush, who has Alito and and Scalia and Thomas uh, and Roberts on this court. They know that all this strategy is to eventually feed to the Supreme Court. So politically, politically, what do we have to do? Elect pro-choice members, whether they're in your state house or whether they're in the White House. Uh, NARAL Pro-Choice America, our program's called Protect and Elect. We gotta protect those pro-choice candidates that are there now. We've gotta elect a whole bunch more. Um, and so we'll be in states like Oregon with Merkley, uh, important race out there to get rid of Gordon Smith, who is horrible on reproductive rights. We have Jean Shaheen, New Hampshire, wonderful woman who has stood up for choice for so many years. Um, so those candidates Candidates. The Senate's going to be United States Senate's going to be very, very important. Uh, electing Barack Obama, uh, we've endorsed Barack Obama. We're proud of that endorsement. He's going to be critical to our issue, both on the Supreme Court uh, uh, judges, uh, and then actually dealing with these this craziness that George W. Bush has had over the last eight years. So uh, we got our work cut out with uh, for us, but uh, you know we're confident we're going to win. Can you talk a little bit about um, sort of NARAL is a nonpartisan organization, That's right. and uh, so you know people sort of t try to think about this and frame this as democratic no. re Democrats versus Republicans. But it seems to me like there are a lot of sort of moderate Republicans and even independents who, as they start thinking about these issues, you know, there's a threat there that maybe they're not comfortable where That's somebody right. like Senator McCain, who has a, a ver very strong pro-life record. That's right. The very good point, and that is that NARAL Pro Choice America, our target audience are Republican and independent women. The base votes. 
they vote and they vote on this issue. So, so we communicate with them. But Republican and independent women particularly, when they know how anti-choice John McCain is, they will move away from him and come, um, obviously, and vote for Senator Barack Obama. Uh, so it isn't a partisan issue. It is, again, about how Republicans and independents understand freedom. They understand privacy. They understand that government and politicians don't belong in this decision. We're going to take votes away from John McCain for Barack Obama, and they could be the swing. These women could be the swing uh, variable in this race. There's no doubt about it. Sure. I have one final question. We ask everyone who we're talking to yeah. here in Big Tent this. Care2, as you know, is a very strong grassroots community, very active on uh, the issues that they care about, including reproductive yeah. health choice. What can Care2 members do to help promote the work that Nero Pro Choice yeah. America is doing in this election season okay. and in 2009. That's right. Get involved and volunteer. And whether that's in your state or uh, signing up on our Choice Ad Action Network, you've got to get involved. It's not enough just to go find the information. You've got to volunteer. Second thing, all of this takes resources. So when we um, are calling for the kinds of resources so we can be with Gene Shaheen, so we can be with, with Merkley to defeat these anti-choice candidates, that's critical. Yes, it's important that we're supporting, you know, all of the other efforts, but you can't get this work done unless you have the resources. And then speak up. You know, I was always taught, being from Montana, it's not enough. It's not enough to hold a value and you keep it to yourself. You got to stand up and you got to speak up uh, because we're not going to change America unless we do this. And of course, vote pro choice, vote for, for Senator Barack Obama because uh, it's going to take every one of us uh, across this country to make sure he's our president. Fabulous. Nancy Keenan, thank Great. you for your time. Thank you.